Hey YouTube, Helldivers 2 has been released for just over six months now, and a big appeal for this game is the live service story-driven content. I have scoured the internet and tried to compile an accurate list of the story so far. I hope you enjoy. Super Earth, bastion of peace, prosperity, and managed democracy. For 100 years, our colonists have toiled happily to enshrine the unquestionable rule of freedom. But now, our enemies rise from the shadows once more. The tyrannical Terminids spread unfettered across the galaxy. The socialist automatons terrorize innocent families. Babes are torn from their mothers, voters from their ballots. In this time of need, Super Earth once again calls upon her mightiest, bravest, most obedient heroes, the Helldivers. No cost is too high, no sacrifice is too great. You are democracy's most elite, least hesitant defenders. The Terminids will be contained. The automatons dismantled. You will grind our enemies into oblivion. For freedom. For managed democracy. For Super Earth. Join the Helldivers, the galaxy's last line of offense. PlayStation. Super Earth, our home. Prosperity, liberty. Hi there. Hey. <laughs> Democracy, our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. <laughs> no! Sweet liberty! No! <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force! See exotic new life forms. And spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. Today, fighting against the Terminids was bolstered by the arrival of the Helldivers, marking the start of Operation Valiant Enclosure. According to the Ministry of Defense, the Terminids will be safely quarantined once more by the end of the month. We go now to breaking news. We've just received what appears to be the first confirmed footage of the emerging automaton threat. We're receiving word now that the president has released a statement saying, quote, it is past time we responded to this unprovoked incursion against democracy. The Helldivers are deploying as we speak to strike a number of automaton military installations. These invaders will soon discover the steel of super earth resolve, end quote. With fighting on two fronts, this will be the largest Helldiver mobilization since the first galactic war. 
That's Liberty's Latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. Freedom's Greetings. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly, with breaking news. The automatons have just launched surprise invasions of multiple developed worlds. In response, the Helldivers have been partially redirected from Operation Valiant Enclosure to defend against the bot incursion. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. Freedom's Greetings. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. With termicide dispersion towers now installed across the barrier planets, the Helldivers have begun operations to fully activate the Termited Control System. The termicide is reportedly proving extremely effective, with experts saying the benefits to the local ecology far outweigh the loss of some native species. After the break, a child with terminal radiation poisoning gets a surprise visit from their greatest hero. Stay tuned.
Freedom's Greetings. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. Helldivers continue efforts to eradicate the automaton threat in Operation Swift Disassembly. The Minister of Defense has indicated that the operation's goal is the total destruction of all automatons, saying, peace is not an option. The automatons are programmed for two things, violence and hating freedom. Coming up next, are toilet stalls dissident hideouts? More on that when we return. Freedom's Greetings, I'm Coretta Kelly. New updates on the backfiring of the TCS in the Meridia system. Here's the latest. A preliminary investigation by the Ministry of Science reveals that the termicide initially worked, quote, as intended, eliminating 99.6% of the terminid population on all barrier planets. However, on Meridia, some of the remaining terminids not only survived, but actually began reproducing up to 20 times faster than before. Scientists are now calling the planet a terminid, quote, super colony. The mutations caused by the termicide appear to be random, but according to the report, it is only a matter of time before the same reaction appears on the rest of the barrier planets. The Helldivers may be in a race against time to deactivate the TCS before this occurs. In other news, the disgraced scientists who developed the termicide have been taken into custody and are to be investigated for dissident infiltration. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly.
Freedom's Greetings. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. Citizens of all ages and classifications are signing up to serve in what is now being called the Second Galactic War. According to reports, nearly 100% of able-bodied citizens have already voluntarily enlisted into the Super-Earth Armed Forces. Meanwhile, those who are unable to fight are enthusiastically doing their part, making bullets, armor, toxic gas, and everything else needed for the arsenal of managed democracy. Coming up next, an interview with the artist behind the smash hit, Can't Ration My Love. Stay tuned. planet stranded light years from liberty then you hear them they're almost on you teeth gnashing venom glistening in the twin moonlight suddenly you remember the one thing that can save you eagle sweat one spray and the world shifts you mount the beasts and rise master of your domain a god among the cosmos before long, you are home. Eagle Sweat. With patented nanofragrance technology that literally puts odor molecules to the rack until they give up their secrets. Eagle Sweat. Don't just smell it. Live it. Freedom's Greetings. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. Today, the Dark Fluid Research Facility on Moradesh went into emergency shutdown, following what officials are describing as, quote, a close call. According to reports, the volatile exotic material suddenly collapsed into a micro black hole that spaghettified 12 facility members before evaporating. Production of weaponized dark fluid is scheduled to resume tomorrow, with no shortfalls projected in support of the ongoing operation to destroy the Terminid supercolony. That's Liberty's Latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. We interrupt these commercial messages for an important announcement. Helldivers across the galaxy have been heroically spreading our message of freedom, managed democracy, and above all, peace. But despite our efforts, a deadly threat has emerged. A giant planet-wide super colony, threatening to bring tyranny to our own backyards. If we don't stop this spread of infestation, liberty could be next. It's time to show them the meaning of peace. We are issuing a major order. Cleanse this terminate super colony using a well-understood alien super weapon. It's time to begin the countdown to victory. Liberty's finest hour approaches. Your major order is now live. Give them hell, divers. Freedom's Greetings. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. 
Today, spontaneous military parades broke out across the galaxy, celebrating the destruction of the Meridian Super Colony. Thanks to the courageous efforts of the Helldivers, the planet Meridia was successfully collapsed into a black hole, destroying the super colony and its mutated strain of Terminids. Concerns of unforeseeable impacts from the use of dark fluid have proved largely unfounded, experts say, with only minor space-time distortions observed in the area surrounding the singularity. Terminid spread has been vastly reduced following the planet's destruction, and efforts are now underway to develop a new and improved termicide formula. Looking ahead, the Helldivers are also preparing to mount a counterattack against the automatons. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. Hard work can get you there. That is the Super Earth Promise. Put in your sweat, put in your blood, enjoy your patriotic responsibility. Prove your dedication to the betterment of our Federation, and before you know it, you too will achieve your dreams. Super Earth, freedom, justice, democracy, and dreams. One step closer to turning this planet we're orbiting into a black hole. Initiating FTL jump to Super Earth. The crew was forced to initiate an emergency warp without your authorization in order to protect Super Earth's investment in this vessel. Meridia is destroyed at last. The threat of the Terminates is vastly diminished. But we cannot rest. The galactic war is far from over.